All right, well, I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick, and then as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this much-anticipated middleweight encounter. Two years apart, these two fighters, and they both possess a similar height and reach. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of seven wins, two losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 184 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, Alex Poetan Perea! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai fighter, holding a professional record of 29 wins, nine losses, and one draw. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Warsaw, Poland, John Blokowicz. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. The veteran Herb Dean draws the assignment here. You ready? You ready All right, so two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about the defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Oh, some of the best kicks you'll see right there, live and in color. Takedown defense holds up. He got the turtle in that kick. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. Oh, a little single collar tie there. John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Now he's got the Muay Thai club. Ooh, big shot land. So just over 20 total strikes have already landed for Jan Rahobich. in the single collar tie. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Back and forth we go. Look at that switch knee. Beautiful switch knee. Just misses with the left hook. Nice one two there. Oh. <laughs> and they separate. 
big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow it? Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And that's they set a picture perfect body shot there. He says unbelievable. That shot landed perfectly, and now he's got his opponent hurt. Gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. And they separate. Oh! What a round! All right, there's the end of the round. We'll show you some of the highlights. It must feel pretty damn good to knock a man down like that. It feels good to knock a man down. And most times, you don't even feel it. It's the ones that you don't even recognize that landed hard are the ones that usually put your opponent out. It landed right on the sweet spot, and he hurt his opponent very badly. Here we are, early round two. striking this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clinch. this is a massive moment for this fighter he is a great point type fighter look for him to go knee knee and then try to land a big one to the head a uh, single collar tie here right hand punch from the clinch huge knee land to the tie clinch. great oh He had him hurt very bad. He found the shot. He got exactly what he wanted. When he saw the opening, he jumped on it. Ready to fight? 
Ready. Here we go. Five minutes remain in the fight. Well, he hasn't really shown out any signs of slowing down tonight. He's taking that on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, he needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got a off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. you got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. He is doing a really good job of relaxing not panicking because he's getting choked. Yeah, notice he just took the body triangle, readjust a lot, and now it looks like he's got it. There is the tap. So he submits courtesy of the rear naked choke. That guy's got a squeeze on him. He does a great job securing the position, getting under the neck, and then hiding his hands in order to get the finish. Fantastic performance by this fighter. He got him! What a performance! Well, you can tell he has been working hard on his submissions in his training camp. That was a near-perfect setup on that choke. Sunk it in deep, and the opponent had no choice but to tap out or go to sleep. He chose to tap out. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger in finishing fights. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at 1 minute, 54 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by tap out. Well, what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission. And they put so much stock into finishing this fight. They felt like to really spin his career forward, they needed to not.